Hello, I welcome you all. Uh, the problem reads, uh, determine the reactions that are uh, the support A and uh, B for equilibrium of uh, the beam. Uh, this problem is coming from uh, the engineering mechanics uh, textbook, uh, 13th edition by R.C. Bella. All right, so let's begin working on the problem. Um, we have uh, a simply supported beam and uh, this beam is uh, just one minute this beam is uh, uh, hinged at A ok we have a hinge support there and we have a roller support at a B right so let's draw the free body diagram so we expect to have at this point at, at support A we expect to have two reaction forces right one reaction in this direction like this let's call this one as AY and then we expect to have another one in this direction like this let's call this one AX and then at the roller support we expect one reaction like this let's call it BY Right, we've drawn the free body diagram. So now let's uh, rewrite this distributed force into some equivalent forces, right? So what we are going to do is, if you've seen the way the force is distributed, we have a number of uh, shapes there. So we'll convert the sh these are loading into regular shapes. Uh, you have a number of options, but of course for me, I'm going to just convert them into two shapes, a rectangular load and a triangular. So I'll have one block like this one. Oh, it's not going so straight. So I'll draw this up to... I want it to be straight. Okay, uh -huh, something like that. Right. So this will be one block of my load. Okay. This one. Okay, which will act at the very mid span of seven. Okay, three plus four, seven. So I expect this load to be somewhere there. Okay, so let me call this load as P1. So I call it P1. Okay, and P1 is going to be equal to P times H. What is my base? It's the length, which is seven meters, and what's my heart? Is my is my load, which is two hundred newtons per meter. Therefore, this gives me a one thousand four hundred newtons. Okay, what do we have? We have a triangular load on this side. There we go. Oh no. There we go, yeah. Okay, there we go. Right. So let's assume it's acting. Okay, let's first find where this position, like we said, this is triangular, therefore it will be mid span. So mid span of seven plus half of seven is three point five meters so this other load here is triangular let's assume it's acting there and let's call it p2 and p2 is going to be equal to half formula for area bh which is just equal to half what's my b the length of this triangle is three and what's his height this height here okay this height this height here is equal to uh the overall height at this point here is 400 minus the height of this uh, block there is rectangular block which is 200 therefore this gives me a 200 therefore this is going to be equal to half times 3 times 200 what does this give us it gives us 
uh, a 300 right 300 newtons so where is it acting so let's find this position if we are to consider this direction here this one here is equal to a one third one third of three right no not one third sorry this side is two third sorry one third is the other side sorry this is two third of three so this is going to be equal to two meters okay so with this we can now take moments about point a uh, so say summation of moments about point a which is equal to zero about point a less and clockwise is uh, positive so what do we have we have um, P1 uh, minus, since it's a negative moment, P1 times the lever arm, which is 3.5, okay, minus P2 times the lever arm, that's a 2 plus 4. 2 plus, so we've seen this is a 2, this one here is a 2, right? Then we have a 4 this side, right? This is 4. This is 2, right? So 2 plus 4 is 6. So let's just write it. It's 6. And then plus by by 7, right? Is equal to 0. So let's replace in the values there. We have P1, that's minus. What's P1? is 1000. 400 mm -hmm. uh, by 3.5 minus what's P2? P2 is 300 by 6 then plus BY by 7 is equal to 0. Okay, where is my calculator? Alright, let me just correct my calculator. Right. Okay, there we go. Uh, what do we have? We have uh, minus 1400 by 3.5 minus 300 by 6 mm -hmm. and then divided by 7. Right. What do we have? We have by is equal to uh, 957.14 okay let me just try it again 1400 uh, by 3.5 300 by 6 957.14 okay okay we are done with this one so let's say now summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero what do we have we have a y um, of course forces that are going up we are considering them positive so we have a y we have a y plus b y minus p1 minus p2 is equal to zero all right so a y um, plus b y which is nine five seven point one four minus p one p one we just say we calculated it as fourteen hundred minus p two which is a three hundred is equal to zero and therefore a y is going to be equal to nine five seven point one four minus 1400 minus 300 so we have a 74 a 742.86 newtons then we have summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero in this direction being our uh, positive 
of course we know that our x we don't have any loading in that direction this is going to be equal to zero right so we are done so we have by equal to nine five seven point one four newtons and then we have a y equal to seven four two point eight six newtons and then this is equal to zero right so we are done with uh, this particular problem we found uh, the support reactions at a and b for the beam uh, to be in equilibrium i hope the video was helpful if it was give me a thumbs up and bye bye and see you in my next uh, screencast